this locomotive hasn't run in over 20 years. I didn't have the courage back then to fix it, but now I do. So let's see if we can revive this vintage Tyco once again. Hello everyone and welcome to the rescue of this Tyco SD20, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that. This was my world's worst locomotive. Now, back then, I really didn't think I could fix this thing. I mean, just just look at it. I mean, it, it's it's horrible. I mean, I just I don't know what to say about it because it's so bad. I've I've never seen a locomotive like this. That is the only remaining good spot of paint. It's not even original. But anyways. We are going to have to figure out something for a weight, because somebody managed to break those off. But, let me just explain. This is more of a preservation. This engine, I want to keep. I want to keep this engine to look exactly how it is. I don't want it to look brand new. But what we're going to do, is we're going to clean this shell up. We're going to get all this random garbage off of it. Or whatever we can. And we're going to clear coat this. So that none of this paint can come off. So then we'll have a a just horrible. I know it's it's always gonna look bad to everyone, but to me, I think it's gonna look just amazing. Here is all of the remains of you know what was previously on this locomotive. Here's the motor. I don't even know if this is the original motor, but I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know what that is, but. I guess we'll have to clean that. This is going to be a long, long series. Today, I just want to figure out if this motor even is going to work. Then, then in the next episode, we're going to... We'll get into the shell preservation. That'll be an, an episode on, on itself. Here is what the original wiring looks like. And believe it or not, this light actually works. I, I am actually very surprised. I cannot believe it works. I mean, it's about three decades older than the locomotive, but it still works. Now, this locomotive, you know, I have no idea how long it's been since it ran. I mean, I'm going to have to say, like, oh, Jesus, more than 30 years. I mean, it's going to be it's gonna be a very difficult locomotive to fix. And I know there's going to be a lot of questions along the way. But I am pretty good with old Tycos and Mantua motors, so I am 100% certain that we will fix this thing. But here's the catch. I want to keep this thing as original as possible. I really don't want to replace everything. I want to make this thing look like it came, like it's a barn find. I really wish I would have kept this thing in the original condition. That would have been probably even cooler. But I, I really, I got this engine so long ago in a random eBay lot, and there isn't even any numbers on it. Anybody hasn't noticed that yet. If you do find the video, you can see what this thing looks like straight out of the box. So, but anyways, this has gone on a little long. Let me, let me just explain it exactly what, what we need. Let's just make a list here. Shopping time. Okay, we need ourselves a brush plate. Um, into a brush plate. Um, there we go. Okay. Gotta be something in here. Ooh. One of these. Ah, this will do. Oh, 
brushes. This will do. Uh, this will do. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.